A trooper's memory of the forgotten war. And I put him down as the author, because it's his story. Joyce Hutchinson was just four years old when her husband-to-be served in the Korean War. It's a world she didn't know about until his death. No, he wouldn't tell me nothing until later on in life he was losing his memory and he started telling me a few things. Cornelius Cross, a paratrooper with the 187th Combat Team, tough enough to jump out of planes, one of the first rockassons. He was a protector. He was always trying to protect all the others in his squad. And for 40 years of marriage, he protected Joyce, and perhaps himself, from the memories of war. That is, until Alzheimer's set in. After he started to lose his memory, he cried about it, what he saw over there. What he saw haunted him, including the death of a best friend on a dangerous mission. And Cornelius didn't want him to go. He said, I'll go for you, and he wouldn't let him. And he took two steps, and he was blown to pieces. I think that changed Cornelius forever. As his mind faded, the memories became more vivid. Joyce wrote them all down. Because I didn't want his memories lost, his story lost. That's why. She also researched, found pictures, dug up old medals. By the time Cornelius died, he no longer recognized her or their kids but she knew him better. When I called him the hero of the Korean War, <laughs> and he said, no, no, he's not. The ones who didn't make it were. <laughs>